Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to boost up the performance of your CMU emulator because some people have problems, especially when it comes to the emulation speed or the actual frame, frame rate of the emulator and yeah, today I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is download a package I've prepared for you. I will link it in the description and what you will get is this one. Um, just open it up and in there there are certain files and what we have here is a clean a standard simu installation and what you're gonna have to do is just copy and paste or whatever just copy and paste these files over here in your simu root folder in which you already have the simu.exe and if this dialog pop, pops up you're just gonna have to overwrite every file yeah, after you've done that, just open up your CMU emulator and you will see that something has changed. The background is different and also some text has been added. This is the plugin we've just added into the emulator which loads some additional options. Um, yeah, first of all, you're gonna look for this option, this GX2 set GPU fan skip. On some people, on some systems, this one is uh, enabled, but for me it's not. But if you are able to check this one, to check this option, just do it, just go ahead and do it because it will speed up the whole process a bit. But yeah, I don't have the ability to check that, so for me it's not possible, but for some people it is. And if it is for you, just do it. And now we're going to edit the CPU settings. First of all, the mode. Uh, make sure you have checked one of these three, not the single core interpreter because interpretation is very slow when it comes to emulation. Um, just always use the recompiler. For me, the dual core and triple core recompiler is not really working well because it crashes randomly and this is not really what I want. So I just choose the single core recompiler. But if this one of these is working for you, just go ahead and check it and try it out. You have to experiment a bit but I have changed it to the single core recompiler. And for the timer, you're gonna have to check the host based timer, not the cycle based timer. Some people have changed it and don't remember it, for example. Just make sure you have changed the, you have checked this one. And what the plugin actually adds is the affinity option. Here you're gonna go under custom and on some, especially multi-core CPUs, uh, not every CPU core is checked here. Um, just make sure every core is checked here so CMU can utilize them. For me it is because I just have a quad core but if you have an octa core CPU it might not be the case. Just make sure everything is checked here. And so yeah, now we can head on to the second point. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this website. I'm going to link it in the description. It's just a reddit board uh, on which you can download so called shader caches. These are binary files required by your GPU to render the image in the, in the emulator. And so if you just head over to the site, you're gonna search for, the, for your game, for the shader cache of your game you want. To speed up the process, I've already done that and downloaded it. What you will get is a so-called binary file or .bin file. And this is generally named something.bin and you're gonna have to change the name first and in order to do that you're gonna open up the emulator with the game you want to change for example Mario Kart 8 and it's taking some time and yeah now you're gonna have to look at the window title which is showing the shader cache ID this is which is this one and now you have to rename you have to rename the file name after this id which is 9708a1 b3 in my case and after you've done that you're going to close cmu because we need it for now we don't need it for now and just copy and paste this file you renamed into the shader cache transferable folder and you might already have 
this file because it gets generated while playing the game. Just delete it and or overwrite the file with the downloaded file one. And yeah, so now it's replaced. And if we open up Simu with the game now, you will see a large loading screen popping up. And this generally takes up to 20 minutes or something like that to compile. Yeah, after the loading process finished, you will see the main menu normally. And now let's just start a random race. And you will also see this video, which might not be the case in your system before. And yeah, I'll just head over to a random race. I'll just choose a random combination here. 